subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. repository of the contents you can deploy your OVF files inside there or you can store your other type of files so first of all log in your wish enter go to your inventory okay and select the content library click on home button and select the content library so there is zero content libraries if you want to create a new one okay create a Go to the object and create a content library. So provide the names like test one. Then select your wish enter on which wish enter you want to create this library. On our this wish enter. Next, you can provide the descriptions or kind of things. Next, then configure your content library. It's a local content library or subscribed content library. If when we choose the subscribe, if you have a content library on, on the one of the wish enter server or you want to access that content library, so you need to choose this option and provide the URL for that library. If you are creating your personal one, then you can choose the local content library. If you make this library available for the other ones, then you select the publish externally. So we will do it later. Okay. Next. Select the data store, add a storage. So I'm going I'm going to add a storage. This NFS one. Okay. Next finish. Okay. So the the vision, the, the type, the published node, the storage. So it's creating now you have a library. Inside that library, you can find the summary. Okay, here yeah. you can reconfigure it from here. Like the publish is not. You can find the templates. There's the no template. You can find the other type of files like import the items. Okay, from the source or you can from browse like which type of file you want to upload there. Okay. like OI and ISO files you can upload here or the other kind of files like you want to upload this zip file okay you want to upload any items you can upload or you can upload the OI template files here okay for the machines Sorry? Yeah, but well you can you can create the templates inside this library. Yeah. Let's go to the host server. I want to create a template of this virtual machine. Template. Clone to a template. Clone to a template in the library. Okay. And select your library. Let's make a template of this virtual machine inside your library. Okay. Or if you are, if you are deploying a virtual machine, let's suppose we are creating a virtual machine in the labs. Okay. New virtual machine from the library. So is it file sharing, without sharing, like library? So we do not have any template inside that content library, so it will not show in here. However, if you have any template inside that library you can find it. No, 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 you cannot deploy a virtual machine inside a library. Basically library is repository to contain the templates, OVF files and other kind of information. It will not store the... Yeah, OVF is not a ma machine, it's a, like a template file. If you want to publish this temp uh, content library, Go here, then content libraries, select your content library, go to the configure, add it here, and you can publish this content library. There the URL, you can copy this one. Or if you want to enable the user authentication, you can enable and you need to provide the password here. 
to other sites so they can access this uh, this library using that url so they create a library there yeah. but they choose a subscribe subscription so they provide that url so if you access you can access the metadata of this contact library here is the metadata like version number id number name descriptions created items okay there's the raw data there's the headers Like when you are creating a um, subscription library, go to create a new library here. Okay, like dash to subscribe. Next, like subscribe and for the URL. Enable the auth authentication if you have. Okay, download all library contents immediately. Next, if it's validating, provide the path. Select like the data store on which data store you want to store. So let's on the set next. Yes. So it will download all download all the data from your that library. But we subscribe the library when when we subscribe that library, then you have a library on another which enter server. Yes. Then we choose the subscribe. Oh, yeah. subscribe that library. Yeah. We, we put the URL. And you yeah, can find the documents inside there, like the in the if you check in the other files, you have that image file there. Yeah. Okay. So like that, you can create the library files. So I'm going to delete those ones. Okay. You can synchronize the items from here, or you can delete your library like if you want to delete one select this one go to the actions okay so like that you can create the library you can subscribe a library you can publish a library and you can delete the libraries